what they go do with me now I'm still a talk of the town Don't need assistance, I'm poking them down We turn the smiles into frowns Gang hop out, then we clear on the clock My name is Young Cheo My name is Cheo Alcatraz Mr. Oh yeah, oh yeah, the big wig, the hair guard One and only Mr. Oh yeah, oh yeah himself I'm from the Bronx, New York You know what I mean? We out here South by Southwest I'm rocking with my guy Ray Rip My brother You know, two dudes on the same mission More or less with this music shit it's common goal, so we came out here to rock, and, and we ran into y'all, so uh, love is love. You're ready. You don't have to do all that. It's all right. just the intro. Okay. <laughs> well, you can cut it out. I'm going to just go. Yeah, well, cut it out. Even in the background, the mic won't pick that up because it's real, real small. Yeah. You can cut it, right? You can cut it. Yeah, cut it. You're going to have to go and Yeah, don't fucking play with me. Yeah, I knew it was you. All that crumpling and rumpling, the mic can hear it. Yeah. So, Corey, what I'm doing, I'm just saying my name. Let me know one. Okay, Hey, yo, what up, man? I go by Ray Rep, and we here with Talk of the Town. So, where y'all from? I'm from YO, Yonkers, New York. I'm from the Bronx, the South Bronx. Okay, and how did you get started into music? I mean, music really just always was a part of my life from you know growing up so i mean my, my sister my mom like my grandfather musician like i just been around all type of music my whole life growing up in the south bronx i just really was culturally fused with a lot of different jamaicans africans dominicans you know haitians a lot of people so rock all that i listened to all that and and i my i, I fell in love with hip-hop because i'm you know we born from that era so it was just naturally that, you know, you start rhyming. You in the hood, niggas start doing cyphers. You start rhyming. I would say 15, stepped into my first cypher. So that was that. Uh, how I started in the music, man, I grew up. I'm from Slow Bomb out there in Y.O. And uh, DMX, Mary J. Blige, Sporty Thieves, R.I.P. to Oso, Didoc. And uh, just watching mainly my boy Didoc, you know, my OG, how he was on the music and the love and the respect and how everything he had behind it, I, I just wanted that. You know what I'm saying? It just, he, he inspired me. You know what I'm saying? Music from a young age, just watching my big dogs. Okay, who else inspired you with music? Kiss. You know, D-Block. Like, you know, like I said, I'm Yonkers. And uh, Kiss, D-Block, uh, Styles, Sheik Luch, uh, 50, uh, you know, New York. I, I'm... I'm a New York nigga, so everything everything that came that came from New York, uh, you know, inspired me, and I just wanted to be like growing up. You know what I'm saying? And then reference the artists that inspired me, or I mean, my sister was a big influence on me because she made me go cop my first tape, a Raekwon tape. She sent me the Tower Records on Fordham to go cop a record with my cousin. She was like, "Go get these two tapes, a Ghostface tape and a Raekwon tape." And from that, I started like looking at the cassettes, like the had the lyrics in them, like Sabi, all that. And I just I would put it in the tape deck and rock out in the room. I couldn't go outside because I lived in a crazy hood. So when I was a real little kid, I couldn't go outside. You feel me? So I, I fell in love with hip hop. You know, like once I got outside, then it was like, oh shit! Now it's like it's translating. But you know, that my sister would be the first big influence on me, like for hip hop. Okay, so I don't know if y'all know, but hip hop turns fifty this year. That's, so a, what, that's a fact. What about hip hop you love? I mean, look, I was born on Cedric Avenue where hip hop started. So, I mean, you know, it's just, it's it's really my DNA. It's my life. Like, hip hop is my life. Like, you know, when they, is a term that says you, like, he is hip hop or she is hip hop or that is hip hop. Like, I feel like I am hip hop. My DNA is hip hop. Born and raised in the Bronx. Cedric Avenue, you know, 80s baby, came up in the 90s, loving all the great rappers, Biggie, Pac, Jay, Nas, everybody. Like, when you come into that, like he said, 50, everything, when you just in that, it's just like, if you're there in the right place, the right time and chemically, it's just going to organically happen. So that's what happened for me, you feel me? Uh, yeah, you know, tipping off what my boy Cheo said, hip-hop is me, man, it's my life. Uh... And my life don't really nothing else matter, man. If it ain't the kids and, you know, the shit that's supposed to matter. But music is like, that's the only place I feel comfortable, man. When I'm inside that booth or whatever, I'm listening to a beat and I'm writing it down. It's like, that's that's my best me. You know what I'm saying? And um, on top of that, like, growing up, man, hip-hop is just, it's just, it's just where we from, man. You know, from the hood, struggling, 
single parent home and it's like it, it was an outlet you know what i'm saying for a lot of people that i know it was a way for people to get out you know put a couple dollars on the table and you know change mommy life you know what i'm saying yeah so what are your thoughts on hip-hop now because people say before it was more real now it's kind of like cliche what do you think i feel like you know hip-hop has its error you know everybody got a everybody got a chance you know what i'm saying my man, one of my OGs from home, but you know, from why your name is Huss, and he said, "Yo, Ray Rip, you know, every dog's, you know, every, one day the sun's going to shine on the dog's ass." And right now, the, the young culture is winning. You know what I'm saying? That's like everybody got their time. I've never heard that one, but I like. Yeah, every you know, one, a dog, you know, you know, the, right now the young boys is winning the drill music, the the you know the the a lot of the shit that I, I can't really tap in on. That ain't my style of music. I'm a I'm a storyteller. You feel what I'm saying? Yeah. But I feel like the music, uh, again, everybody has these errors. So right now is is the fast, the 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 little shit that's winning for the kids. But the real music about to come back around. You know what I'm saying? The the music that I stand for is about to come back around. Well, that music always cycles back, right? That's a fact. We know that real balls come in. I know, you know, Alana. Shout out to Alana. She was telling me, you know, that's that's you right there. That's that's your lane, and that lane came back. We said, oh, was well, I not supposed to say that? We could cut this, right? Okay, my bad. I mean, I'm just trying to, you know. Anyway, so look, um, you know, like he said, the drill shit, all that new shit. That's cool. Look, hip hop got errors and phases. Even the dopest artists adapted to that. Jay adapted to that. If you if you really nice. You could stand the test of time in any generation. That's how I feel. That's how I feel about myself, and that's how I feel about any MC or artist that's a real hip-hop artist. You could be a trend. You could be cool because you had little high school niggas hit your shit, and you got a billion views. You That's popping. I love them. But, you know, that's only going to last as long as that trend lasts, unless you evolve and you really, you know what I'm saying? So I think Music State is dope. I think there's dope artists in this generation. There's a lot of trash. But, hey, in 93, there was probably mad trash rappers. And it was dope rappers, right? So I think it's relevant. And I think today's generation is dope. You got some new shining stars that are fire, you know. And then you got some mediocre cats that's really taking space up that's about to get moved out the way. And then, you know, everything else. But hip-hop is in a great place right now. Okay. And what do you think makes you stand out as an artist? I mean, you know... The moment I open my mouth and just engage with anybody, pause, right? Because that was, you could cut that. The moment I talk to anybody and really engage with them, they're going to get my authenticity. I think authenticity is the most important thing. Every You think about the golden era of hip-hop. All the artists was authentic. Man, breath, uh, Red and Meth didn't look like each other. Biggie didn't look like Pac. DMX didn't look like Jay. Nas didn't look like Pun. You feel me? It was all different. And they all had so I think that's really that authenticity is what separates me from a lot of other artists. Plus, I could flow on any beat. I could I could do anything. Like I'm literally the Silver Surfer 3.0. I could do anything. So that's what really separates me. So just stick around, pay attention, watch the videos. You gonna see? Uh, what separates me is the pain. I put that gritty back, man. That you know, right now is a lot of jump up, jump around, shooter, shooter. I, I'm speaking that shit that uh. That X used to speak, you know what I'm saying? I ain't gonna say X. I, X, I grew up idolizing X, you know what I'm saying? From an artist standpoint. But uh, I'm bringing that shit where it's cool to tell your mom's getting high. Ain't no food in the refrigerator, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, you, like me, my mom's got eight kids, you know what I'm saying? I'm the big bro. I got six sisters, and I had to be the big dog whether I wanted to be it or not. You know what I'm saying? So I'm talking about that in my music, you know what I'm saying? I'm talking that shit after you listen to my shit, that shit will make you go in there and wash the dishes. <laughs> or, or, or cook some bacon because, you know what I'm saying? You're trying to restore that order in the crib, you heard? Okay. Yeah. I love it. Okay. And what motivates you to keep going? My kids, my family, my sisters. The struggle, you know what I'm saying? When I go back home to Y.O., all my peoples is in the projects. You know what I'm saying? All my peoples, my nieces, my nephews. And, my, you know, more so my nephews going down the same path that I was going down. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? In trouble and all that. So I figure, you know, I'm the big wig right now, as Cheyo would say. Yeah. I'm trying to open up doors where I could where I could try to save lives. You know what I'm saying? A lot of my homeboys look up to me. You know what I'm saying? You know, a lot of my niggas in my hood look up to me. So I figure if I could put the bag on the table and I could try to change niggas' lives and and put them in position, I feel like that's what I'm here for. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Um, I would have to say what motivates me is the fear of not accomplishing your real 
talents and goals and not doing what you know you can do. That's what motivates me. I've been through some crazy, the past three years, been some crazy shit, movie shit. And that shit just made me evolve as a person and say, yo, fuck everything. We just going to go with it. How it land, how it land, but we just going to go. And, you know, in the past, I had a lot of, oh, this not ready. The perfectionism, you know, you turn into a perfectionist. Like, oh, this not ready. This not how I want it to be. This record ain't done yet. I got to do this. I got to get guitar on this. I got to, nah, but, you know, when then life wakes you the fuck up and, and you like, yo, okay, it's time to go. So that's what motivates me, that, just that failure of not living up to what I really should be. You feel me? Okay, so Hold on. if someone never heard your music, what right. song would you tell them to listen to? That's how I listen to Oh Yeah, Oh Yeah. We got 150K right now in two weeks. Go listen to that. We got substance. We got You're going to get the whole vibe off that one record. You know what I mean? And when you see me in the street, what you yelling, Rip? Oh Yeah, Oh Yeah. You already know. Oh Yeah, Oh Yeah. Okay. Uh, I just dropped a video with my boy Cheo. We shot in Y.O. a few months back called Flex. You know what I'm saying? That's on YouTube as well. It didn't got a hundred million views and all that, but we 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 we, we like the we we climbing and uh uh yeah you go check that flex out and the bitches used to call me ugly now they calling me handsome you heard <laughs> yeah. okay so what's next coming 2023 what's on the way 2023 man I got a single what's the name of the single dice yeah, you got mad singles now we got mad singles but the one I'm really focused on. This dice peso joint. It's called Run It Up, man. I flew back home to New York. I got with the, you know, with, with my guy Dice Peso. Shout out to Dice Peso. Shout out to Dice Shout out to Shout out to Shout out to Boss Bread. Dice a real good, good nigga. And uh, we got a nice single, man. That's that's gonna burn New York up. I think. You know what I'm saying? I'm not even saying I think. I'm motherfucking. I'm uh uh uh. We 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 gonna burn New York up. You know what I'm saying? I'm speaking that shit into existence. You know what I'm saying? And um, that's my new. We got like I said, I got a few of them, but Run It Up is is the next one that. We pushing forward with my, my guy Dice Peso. Yo, like I said, Oh Yeah, Oh Yeah is right now on YouTube. It's going to be shortly on Spotify and Apple Music. I'm about to tell you, my love. Um, we got another record we about to drop. It's cool, You know what I'm saying? With, with also a fellow Boss Bread dude, Dice, um, Dub, Dice Man. Um, you know what I'm saying? From Boss Bread. Um, shout out to the whole Boss Bread, the BX. Um, we got... Um, I'm just gonna be dropping projects like uh, like videos and just just individual little projects, just short, quick. I know the attention span is you know, so we are just gonna get to it. Every month you're gonna see something from me. Just know that at least a video, a single every month. Probably more than that. To be real, with you more than that. So that's what I can tell you. I'm not trying to give you this great 2023 plan, but that's what we gonna be in your face. Just believe that. Just believe that. The plan is to link up with great people like you, which we did in Best Buy, and it was amazing because shit is amazing. When you go for your life, when you do what you got to do and you roll the dice, like I said in that song, you just run into dope people because God willed it already. So we put that shit in this. We said, yo, we didn't have a real plan, but we came here like, yo, we're going to make it. We're going to make a plan as we make it, and it's gonna, we're going to execute it. That's it. See what I'm saying? Yeah. Uh, can you repeat that question one more time? What's the plan? The plan is to rub elbows and, you know, network and, and you know, because I feel like in life, life is all about relationships. Money gets you wherever you need to go to an extent, but relationships, and, and that, you know, that's what I'm on right now. Like I was what telling my boy, it? I told my boy Trey before we got out here, like, you know, I'm, you know, we going out there, bro, to try to keep clear faith and, and you know, some motherfuckers going to take us on and some ain't. But uh, if, if we could... If we could just go out to South by Southwest and just build, just get one or two fans or, or, or build two or three relationships, we did our job. And, and that's, that's pretty much what we out here doing. We out here trying to, trying to, you know what I'm saying? So how can people follow you? How can people tune in with y'all? Um, I'm on Pornhub. And I'm, no, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Hey, <laughs> yo, I'm on Instagram under Ray Rip, which is R-A-Y-R-I-P-P underscore S-G-E. And um, that's really my, my, you know, my only handle. You know, I fuck with the Instagram real hard. You know what I'm saying? YouTube. Oh, YouTube, Ray Rip, you know. Uh, yeah, I'm on YouTube under Ray Rip as well. R-A-Y-R-I-P-P. Uh, Instagram, YouTube, and that's pretty much it. You know what I'm saying? All streaming services. All streaming services. Correct. Yeah, you can find me on all streaming services. My fault. And Pornhub. Hey, yo, um, you could catch me on everything. Cheo. Alcatraz, that's C-H-E-O, 
A L C A T R A Z, like the prison. Cheo Alcatraz, TikTok, Instagram, YouTube, this, that, every other, whatever you got is there. That's the that's it. Oh yeah, oh yeah, that's the slogan, that's the mantra of you Mexican, Puerto Rican, Peruvian, Dominican, Mexican, Honduran, Panamanian, Italian. Whatever you is, wherever you at, that's that's the call. Oh yeah, oh yeah, go run that shit up. We had 150K. Shout out to Talk of the Town. Shout out to Chloe. Shout out to, can I shout you out? Shout out to Alana. Hip hop since 1987. Like I said, 80s, baby. That's real shit. Shout out to Philly, New York, Texas, everywhere. We out. You already know what it is.